How to Glue Polyethylene Foam Together? If you're working on a project that involves gluing polyethylene foam, you're probably wondering which methods and adhesives will give you the best results. Let's break it down step by step. First, it's important to understand that polyethylene foam is a bit tricky to glue because it's non-porous and doesn't absorb adhesives well. However, there are a few effective methods you can use. Using rubber cement. One way to glue polyethylene foam is by using rubber cement. Here's how you do it. Apply a thin layer of rubber cement to both surfaces of the foam that you want to glue. Make sure to coat both surfaces evenly. Let the cement dry until it's just barely tacky. This usually takes a few minutes. Once it's tacky, press the two surfaces together firmly. Ensure they are aligned exactly where you want them because once they touch, they won't come apart easily. This method works well, but the bond might not be as strong as some other methods. Using hot glue. Another effective method is using hot glue. This might surprise you, but hot glue can work really well with polyethylene foam. Just make sure the hot glue isn't too hot as it can melt through the foam. Apply the hot glue to one of the foam surfaces and press the two pieces together firmly. Hold them in place until the glue solidifies completely. Because foam is insulative, it may take a bit longer for the glue to cool and harden inside the foam. Using spray adhesives, Spray adhesives are also a great option. For polyethylene foam, you can use a spray adhesive like 3M Super 77. Apply a light layer of the adhesive to both surfaces, let it get tacky for about 15 seconds, and then press the pieces together. This method ensures a strong bond without the risk of melting the foam. Tips for better bonding. When gluing foam, it's crucial to apply the adhesive evenly and let it get tacky before pressing the surfaces together. This helps the glue penetrate deeper into the foam, creating a stronger bond. If you're dealing with large pieces of foam, you can use a technique where you pinch the seam with your fingers and thumb to ensure a strong bond along the entire length. Choosing the right adhesive. The type of adhesive you choose can make a big difference. For polyethylene foam, you want an adhesive that adheres well to non-porous surfaces. Rubber adhesives are good for general use, but for applications where the foam will be exposed to extreme temperatures or chemicals, acrylic adhesives are a better choice. By following these steps and choosing the right adhesive, you can achieve a strong and lasting bond between your polyethylene foam pieces. Whether you're working on a small craft project or something more complex, these methods will help you get the job done effectively.